So today we're doing the Withlacoochee State Forest Johnson Pond Recreational Trail. And uh, if you can't find it on your GPS through that, uh, basically come down 484 and uh, hit 200. And then uh, take the, just as you cross the Withlacoochee River, uh, make a right on the Withlacoochee Trail. Or you could plug in 3049 Withlacoochee Trail and that should bring you right here. Uh, let's get over to the sign. I, I'm feeling awful bad. I, there was a turtle in the road and I should have stopped and, and protected him. I have a feeling he's smushed now. But uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's get over here and get the sign. So we'll get this. It says birding opportunities, although I have yet to ever see a bird on this trail. I've done it before. Um, by the way, this is June 2nd, 2023. I like to get the time of the year. Uh, you know, as we get further up into the summer, it's uh, the trails that you can hike here in, in Florida, they get few and far between. So, uh, so Johnson Pond is an easy walking trail, 1.8 miles through mature forests to the observation deck. We'll get that on the video. The north end of Johnson Pond. By the way, there should be some good fishing in there. And one of these days, I got to start bringing my fishing pole. The trail provides a wide variety of bird habitat. So, uh, let you read that on your own. So here's kind of the map of, uh, see here's 200, okay, coming in. And we're in the Withlacoochee State Forest, trying to get, uh, hmm. well, I'll let you look at that. Uh, trying to get the roads that I took. I don't even see them. Huh. All right, so then uh, over here, this is kind of the, uh, the Withlacoochee State Forest. Uh, there's a lot of hiking in here. By the way, you don't have to just do the Johnson Pond Trail, okay? You can get on these trails back in here, and I've done some of them. Uh, won't get any of that on the video today. Uh, and you see, here's another Bearhead Hammock Trailhead. So you can enter here in various locations. Uh, and of course, there's just down the road here is the Oxbow Trailhead. Uh, and that's a, that's another little hike. Uh, that's, that's actually a little bit um, more beautiful than, than the Johnson pond trail i just like seeing the johnson pond so here's a here's another map i was going to try to get on here there's 1941 2301 uh, oh here's 200 okay yeah well here's in Vernus. so anyway let's get on the trail uh one of the nice things about being here is you got a couple of picnic tables so uh, i do like the fact that uh you can hold up here after you're done hiking, have a drink of water and uh, chill out, and let's get on the trail. So basically, coming up from the parking lot, you're gonna make a, uh, a left, or I always kinda go to the left. Uh, the trail, I think this is this is the loop that comes in from the other direction. Like I said, there's a lot of little hiking around back here. You know, if you just don't wanna do 1.8, I'm sure I'm gonna do some extra hiking, and we'll, we'll get that on the video, but this is what it looks like. You can see there's, no danger of ticks or uh, anything, you know, it's, uh, I got a hat on, no, no mosquitoes, no flies. Uh, this is just a, it's a good hike in the summertime here in, uh, in Florida. See, there you go. There's another, another uh, trail going that way. But I, I will tell you, if you take the left fork, it'll take you right up to the pond. You get there pretty quick. If you just wanted to get a feel for the hike, uh, you know, this is a, more or less hiking down a kind of a road, more or less, if you could call this a trail. And that's why I said, you know, there's no danger of ticks or any of that. Uh, and that's why I chose this hike. Uh, last time I went on the yearling trail, <laughs> the people I took there had got uh, like 36 ticks on them. Man, I, I felt bad about that. I didn't know the ticks were out in May. But uh, they certainly uh, can be, especially in the... I don't know what it is about the Akala National Forest. Uh, it's like a tick haven. I I never get ticks everywhere else I go. I doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. Well, well, of course, I'll probably be proven wrong. Maybe I'll have a tick on me when I get back to the car. You never know. Boy, I tell you, I nailed it on the weather. It's a nice cloudy day. Temperature's not too hot. I uh, got a little bit of a breeze, but I just thought I'd get another clip. This is kind of what the trail looks like, uh, more of the same, but uh, quite beautiful. I mean, you know, if you want to come out for a nice easy hike. Now it's a bit of a drive uh, and they're doing construction on 75. Also, uh, I always try to make a note, I did not see any signs that said no dogs. So I assume you can bring your dog here if you want. Um, 
because uh, if it's not posted, you know, how would, how would you know? So one thing we're coming up on, I won't get it on the video, but there's a little bench to sit on, and I always try to point those out on the trails. Uh, so if you're just coming out for a stroll and, you know, you get tired quick, you can always just sit down and have a snack. But uh, kind of more of the same, but nice, easy trail, easy hike. See, there's the bench up there. I always try to get the weird stuff on the video. What, what's the purpose of that stake in the ground right there? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's got, uh, oh, it's, I guess it's marking 0 .5, 0 0.5 miles, so I guess that's how far we've been. Okay, well, now it makes sense then. It's right on the bottom of it, though. That's kind of weird. But anyway, uh, more of the same. You can see it's well marked. Uh, all the yellow marks on the trees. Just follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> follow the yellow brick road. I want to show you this on the trail. Um, it, these are equestrian trails back here that, you know, so that people can come horseback riding, although I've yet to see a horse. But look at here. Somebody decided to put a couple bullet holes in that. People are unbelievable. You know, if you got a gun, that's, that's uh, well, it's costing them money for ammunition anyway. But anyway, here's your double uh, double mark on the tree showing you that the trail goes to the left. Just, just wanted to get that on the video. Uh, kind of a cool view coming along the trail here. I don't know if they harvested the trees or if it's just an open area. Anyway, we're just continuing along, but I wanted to get that because that's kind of a unique uh, unique sight. Hmm. So just past the last clip, uh, we're coming up on the uh, Johnson Pond Dock, and I noticed uh, that it's closed. Wow. That's like, yeah, well, I guess it has been a couple of years since I've been here. Uh, maybe it's in need of repair or don't really understand that huh looks sturdy enough to me I don't know let's walk up here and see what we see maybe uh, some boards are loose just kind of go down the side here so let's see what we see Ooh, maybe there's a gator out here well I'm looking underneath it I don't know why it's closed, although, the, boy, the pond is way down, and <laughs> there's no fish in there that I can tell. I, well, maybe across the way over there. Uh, wow, Johnson Pond is uh, pretty dried up at this point. Well, we haven't had that much rain for a while. There's, hey, check it out, a bird. See him over here? All right, so we did at least see one bird off in the dead. There's a couple of them. Let me see. I Super study mode, I can't zoom in. Let's get another clip. I'll take it off of super study mode. Okay, I'm off of super study. So it's probably going to jump around a bit. I'm zooming in on them. Hopefully I'm getting the birds. There, there they are. Check them out. Try to hold the phone. There they are. Yeah, I got them. Isn't that beautiful? All right, let's get back on the trail. Let's get a quick uh, view of walking on beside the pond. This is what the trail looks like. Now you can see as we come into summertime, everything's starting to come up a bit. So it's, uh, they have a hard time keeping up with the uh, growth here in Florida on even even the well-maintained trails. Uh, and that's where, you know, the the danger of ticks hanging out on these, uh, these grass leaves here. But uh, this is, uh, we're coming up on a, a structure here. I'll get that on the video, hold on. I assume this has something to do with the water authority, but you can see out there, I, I assume that's maybe testing for water quality of some sort. And then you come up on this, and there's a solar panel here at the top. Now it's got a deck, <laughs> but there's no stairs to get up there. I mean, why would you build the deck? Kind of weird. Let's, go, let's walk over here and take a look. So this, is, this comes down to, to that. Now that does have stairs going up to it. And then I don't know what the purpose of this pipe right here would be. See that? Kind of weird. All right, let's get a good look at the pond. Check it out. Move up just a little bit. I have a feeling this probably will be underwater once the rainy season hits. There's the, there's the dock back there. 
Boy, you'd think you'd see something out there, wouldn't you? A gator or... Of course, I tell you, they, they, have a, they can hide so well. All right, let's get back on the trail. So just past that, we come up on this. Now, I tell you, it's always good to have something like this because, boy, if you get caught out here in a thunderstorm, at least you got some shelter there. But I'm surprised they don't even have a picnic table in there. You got this nice roof. Why not put a picnic table in there? Doesn't make sense to me. But at least you do have a place you can hold up in a storm. That's good to see. And then uh, survey control, Southwest Florida Water Management District. Okay, so that's 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 what that is for survey. That's what I figured. All right. So there's that probably that red equestrian trail coming up there. But this is kind of a neat view. We're still hiking along beside the pond. Uh, we'll be deviating away from it. I always I've often wondered why they don't make cut a trail around the pond. You know, wouldn't that be cool if you could come up and at least go around it? But no, you just kind of go by it. And then just keep on going. It's kind of weird. So it just came from there. Kind of a unique view along the trail here. Wanted to get this on the video. Like I said, we're kind of on the, the left side of the, the ponds over here. But you can't see it through the foliage. But uh, anyway, and then the trail's going to kind of wander away from the pond at this point. You can kind of see it through the trees right here. You got it. That's what I said. I would cut a trail right up here. So that you could go all the way around the pond. I don't understand why they don't do that. We might uh, go off into the woods for a bit. Uh, go off trail. So see, we got this here. Now, I know that's not the trail, but maybe uh, maybe people have done what I talked about. And let's see what happens. So I'm kind of off trail. You wouldn't want to do this on a wet day. You can see the, uh, the uh, equipment across the way there. Now, I do believe that horses have probably done this. And I'm not sure how far we're going to get on this. So just uh, keep an eye out for spotter webs. When you get off trail like this, let's just keep going. I think I've gotten just about as far as I can get off trail. Boy, I tell you, this would be a great place to set up a backpacking tent. If you wanted to just come out and camp for the night. Well, I'm going to go on all the way up into here. This is this is really. I'm glad I came back here. This is really cool. This would be a great place to set up a campsite. So I'm well away from the pond, but I wanted to get this on the video because, you know, one of the things I don't understand here in Florida is you know, why not make this a primitive camping area? You know, you could have a, a just a picnic table and a fire pit, and uh, man, this would be a great place to camp uh, you wouldn't want to put your tent in the ditch but you know right up here you got the uh, very good drainage I mean I don't I don't get it but uh, like I said I'm glad I came back here someday uh, maybe we'll do some overnight camping and that'd be cool I didn't see anything back there that says you can't leave your car in that parking lot overnight check out the rocks now well, we're coming up on something this will be interesting well I have no clue this looks like some sort of a, a access road but you can see here's a here's a pipe with uh, where they've cut it in of course you got this sandy area over here well this is cool man i'm, I'm definitely going to get lost back here <laughs> so look at here I always get the weird stuff what's this it's like a plate and if we could, this goes that way kind of a sandy area Hell, let's go off in this direction. So much for the Johnson Pond Trail, huh? So I hiked across the sand. You could go to the right here. Looks like you could... Boy, I tell you, no wonder people come back here and go horseback riding. You could just ride around back here and, you know, you don't even have to stay on the equestrian trail. You could just, just go exploring in the woods. I wonder how I'm going to find my way back to the car. <laughs> but hey, I assume... I mean, it almost looks like a trail, doesn't it? Although I know this is going to run into another trail. And then as long as I go there, check, what, what is that? Those are wild pigs. You see them? Ooh, don't want to mess with them. Hold on. Let's get a zoom on that. All right, let's zoom in on them. You see what I'm seeing? There he is right there. Check him out. Holy moly. He wouldn't want to be facing that guy. Boy, I can't wait to see the video. Whoa, let's see. 
Oh, I'm trying to hold it. There's a black one right. Where did he go? There. There's that guy. And then off to the left, there he is. See him? There's a bunch of little ones. Tell you what, I'm turning around right now. I don't want to be fighting a wild boar. It wouldn't be a good idea. That's it. We're done with this uh, portion of the trail. So I'm just down from the, the, the pig colony. And uh, I may just have to turn back. So it kind of looks like... Well, let's try to get through here. It looks like we've, we're kind of off trail here. I'm trying to get back to the trail at this point. I'm trying, so let's see what happens. Well, my sense of direction is pretty damn good. I'm glad we went off trail to see those wild pigs. And I'm glad I didn't get attacked by one. I'll tell you what, that, you, that is one of the big dangers here. You know, everybody worries about bears. Uh, bears are a problem, but the wild pigs, those are the ones you really have to, because they, uh, you know, if that, you saw that it had the, the baby, uh, all the baby pigs, they will, they will come at you and they are relentless. So now, we've got yellow going to the right and yellow going to the left. Huh, looks prettier to the right. Let's go to the right. Okay, the right fork was, <laughs> it just took me back to where I started. This is where we went off trail. So anyway, let's just uh, go back and, uh, and then follow the trail on around. So I wanted to get this on the video. See, that's uh, that's wild pigs right there. Whenever you see something like that here in Florida, and uh, that shows you that they uh, they do get on this trail. So it's something to think about. All I got is a walking stick today. I didn't bring any bear spray or nothing like that. But uh, that's all right. I mean, I, I I'm pretty sure that as long as I don't come right up on them, you should be okay. Uh, but like I said, you know, with all those baby Baby little pigs, uh, you know, you might, <laughs> if you startle them, I don't know. I, I Hopefully I could just poke them in the eye with my walking stick, huh? Anyway, we're on the left fork, uh, heading, heading then back towards the uh, the car now, back on the trail. And this is what it looks like. Quite beautiful, isn't it? Really is a great, great hike. Now, you see the blue marks here? These are equestrian trails. Well, of course, you could hike them. And that's what, if you looked at the sign when we started... Uh, there's all kinds of uh, other trails that go all through the forest that you can just come around and hike back here If you just don't want to do 1.9 miles you can you hell you can go t do 10 miles if you want to But uh, we're gonna stay you can see the yellow mark up here on the tree So it's kind of a combination and then of course the horse trail goes off to the right where we saw the pigs So I wanted to get this uh, it says 4.0 now, maybe that's from where the horses start because it is marked in the blue and that makes sense because it's on the top. And, but there is uh, got to be still on the uh, Johnson Pond Trail because there's a yellow mark on the tree up here. So I was questioning, but I'm not sure what 4.0 means. It must be, uh, that's, maybe that's where the equestrian area is where they get on the, the horse trail. And so you're about four miles, I would imagine, if you'd, if you'd done that trail. Wherever that parking area is, I don't even know. Now this I always wonder. So we had the yellow mark here, and if you're going to make a turn, normally you would have a, 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 a you know double a double mark, but they've got the yellow arrow pointing this way, and I imagine you know I see the blue here, so I'm going to follow the arrow. I'm assuming this is supposed to be a trail. I will find out. It could be somebody. Yeah. The, well, the, oh yeah. Here's the yellow marks. Okay. So that's what. Uh, good thing they had that there, huh? You could easily walk right past that. Holy moly. So, yep, we're back on the... Uh, so, you, like, like I said, so if you discontinued straight there, you know, who knows how many miles you could go down that road. You know, that's what I'm saying. You could, you could really get a hell of a hike in back here. And uh, I don't know. I'll have to see how I feel after I'm done with hiking this trail, and we may head back out and do some of the equestrian trails. Okay, so even though you're hiking down more or less a, a, a road, <laughs> if you can call this a trail... You know, I, I'm at four o'clock in the afternoon, or maybe later than that, and uh, you know, it's like I said, it's it's very shaded. So, and that's what I, I do like in a trail. I hate it when you're just hiking. And some of the trails here in Florida, man, you just you get cooked. And uh, I think even on a hot day, this wouldn't be bad, especially in the later in the afternoon here. Uh, slight breeze blowing. Of course, the temperature today is outstanding. But I mean, if you 
you know, I've hiked these trails in what, 95 degrees, 95 to 100. And, uh, you know, this would be a trail that you could do on a really hot summer day. So kind of a different look on the trail, but check this thing out. It's a dead tree. Look at that thing. It's pretty wild. I was looking, uh, there was kind of like a lizard running around right there and didn't get him on the video, unfortunately. Anyway, this is, uh, this is what the trail is looking like. Uh, different, different look and feel. Very Floridian, very Floridian. So this is kind of an open area. Another place you could throw up a tent right back in there. I like it. Okay, so this post, uh, they have the mileage at the top. That is a nice touch, though. I always kind of like to know, you know, where I'm at in the hike. Uh, you know, a lot of the trails here in Florida, they don't, they don't mark how far you've been. You know, you're like, man, am I get, especially on a long hike. You know, this little two mile hike, I don't really care. But man, when you're out on a seven mile hike, you really want to know, am I in the last mile or if I got three miles to go? Please, God, let me make, make sure it's the last mile. Thought this was a cool view. See the yellow mark on the tree, so I guess we're going to kind of circle around. Definitely a different, different look for the trail. So, okay, yeah, so we're coming up. Like I said, see now. Now this is probably another equestrian trail. We you could go to the right and, get, and lengthen the hike. But let's get the Johnson Pond Trail in first. And then maybe, so here's a double mark. So they, there you go, that indicates you make a left, which is good. So there you go. So kind of a different look. We're diving back into the forest uh, after going through that piney area. Just wanted to get the, this clip on the video. Isn't this beautiful? Really good, good transition. Very good transition. Came up a little hill. Got actually got some grass on the trail, which is nice. And then we're continuing on this way. Pretty cool. So we just came through that, and now we're transitioning into uh, to this. So uh, you know, this is really a, a beautiful hike, and for 1.9 miles. Now I'm, I may just uh, head on down to Oxbow, and you can do that. And that's another beautiful hike. Uh, maybe we'll make a two videos today. That would be cool, huh? But that's what I'm saying is you can get all the hiking you want. Let's check out what this is. It looks like a, uh, well, I don't know what that would be. Let's walk over to it. Kind of weird out, out here in the middle of the woods with a lock on it. Seven, eight, nine, four, nine. Let's see, uh, observation. Monitoring well. Do not fill. Do not pill. Oh, well, I, I guess. I, all right. I, maybe they test the water there. Hit, hit, just cut the video on at the right time. So we're coming up. You, you another bench to sit on, and of course the trail is moving off to the right. But uh, like I said, you could go left and continue your hike. So kind of a different look. You know, coming along. You know, just hiking through the uh, winding around. I like it, I like it a lot. Different, different, check this tree out way back here. I'm gonna zoom in on that, hold on. Sorry, I couldn't get the tree on the video. I had a, you know, I have no feeling in my leg since I broke my neck and uh, I didn't notice there was a fly chewing on my leg and blood running, not trying to gross you out, but a little bit of blood running down the leg and had to kill it. And I said, you know what, I'm gotta get, keep moving. Gotta keep moving. That's one, that's good and bad, you know, if you don't have any feeling in your legs, it, uh, it means you can use scalding hot water to clean your feet, but at the same time, you, when you got a bug biting on you, you don't even know it. So the thing I'm liking is, you know, well, if you've watched the video up to this point, uh, you know that we were basically hiking on a road most of the way. Now, now you're on a trail. I mean, this is, this is a cool, this, this is what you, what you want, you know, for a trail. Pretty cool. So another another transition. Pretty cool look. As we continue along, we're just about done with the trail, and that's why I'm taking, you know, clips along the way. Nice finish, a very nice finish. So coming up to the finish of the hike, I might not have gotten that other tree, but we got two wild looking ones right here. So I wanted to cut the video on. Now you can see the burn marks on these trees. They've been doing controlled burns back here. But there you go. Isn't that wild looking? 
that is a crazy looking tree and then you got another one right up here that we're going to walk past but uh that is uh that's one thing about florida we get some weird looking trees uh it's uh really great being here i love florida look at the look at the burn marks on that wow okay kind of hitting another different look we just came through that and we're coming into this so just a different different look kind of opening up if it was a hot day you'd be feeling it right here so you see what i'm talking about you could take this and go off into the woods that direction but uh we're staying on the yellow trail so there's a lot a lot of hiking back here if you just want to come back and get lost for a day you know good lord just try, plan on like 10 miles and just just hike around on some of the trails and stuff just bring a compass so you can find your way back to the yellow yellow brick road here so i was wrong and still a bit of a hike left uh you know one thing um at this time of the year especially uh in my case i'm gonna have to start wearing uh long hiking pants and had another fly biting on me so they are they are out it's not miserable don't get me wrong but uh you know if you want to especially if you can't feel <laughs> feel your legs you know you've, at least with the long pants on i wouldn't have to worry about it but uh we're i know we're coming up near the the end of the hike here but this is what it's looking like so this is cool we just came from that and now look now we're transitioning into this more left to the hike than I thought. Maybe it's a long 0.5 country mile. All right, that's it for the hike today. Hope you enjoyed the Johnson Pond Trail. Uh, we're kind of coming to the end here. Uh, not much to say, a beautiful day. I got it, luckily I've got it partly cloudy, which uh, makes the hike always better. And uh, definitely come out this way. Like I said, you got the Oxbow Trail really close by. Uh, you can hike around in these woods on the equestrian trails as long as you want or you could just do the 1.9 mile hike uh, Like I said at the pond there there wasn't much fishing was there? <laughs> All right, peace out stay free and it's good 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 to live in the free 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 Republican state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSanctimonious